Okay, hi. Um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about my braces again because I went in yesterday and I had some adjustments made and new bands put on. I feel like I'm a professional band putter on her now. I've had so many different ones. I've had bears and squirrels and uh, quails and rabbits. That's what I have now as a rabbit. So I've got all these little bags of different um, bands, elastics, rubber bands um, to put on. My first ones were the quail and I had them on both sides and they just kind of came forward and that was to help my bite get tighter together. And then the next ones I had were the bears and the bears were a pain. They're big. They're a big one and they are to go on two of the top brackets and then diagonal down the two of the bottom brackets and then the same on the other side. So there were like two squares and it was massive band mouth. And I felt like every time I was talking, I was rubbing my cheeks against them and kind of getting them stuck in there almost. And I felt like anytime I talked to somebody or went somewhere, they thought maybe I had like spaghetti or something stuck in my bands and they were just kind of hanging out there. And it was really not so cute and attractive, especially for an adult. Anyway, those ones I survived through. I had those for two months, actually, because I didn't like wearing those ones very much. Um, I wore them probably 80% of the time, but I just needed a little more time with those. And um, Also, then I got the quails again, but then it was just one side, a different bracket on each top and bottom. But now, yesterday, I went in and had um, my wire on top adjusted. I was having some crossbiting which was um, my top molar wasn't sitting directly on top of my bottom the way they wanted. They wanted it to be, it was more like this than like this. So they took my band and, or my wire and they bent it and kind of pulled out the wire a little bit so it would pull my tooth out, if that makes sense, like to the side, not out, but to the side. I'm telling you, I am feeling the pain for that one. It's not my favorite at all. I actually went in biting down on any food. I've only done it twice. I've only taken two bites since yesterday on this side because it is so intensely painful. And it also kind of feels like I'm biting high. Like, um, there's a little more tooth because I don't, I grind a certain way and I chew a certain way and I wore down my teeth a certain way and now it's not there. So I'm going to have to either see what happens in the next four weeks with this or, um, maybe my dentist can help me figure that one out and, and, get on that occlusal side of my tooth and grind it down a little bit for me. Um, also, they gave me the rabbit. And the rabbit they had me put on my bottom canine. It's right here. And I had to hook it all the way into the back. Um, in the back, we have typically two molars. One's usually our anchor. My anchors are actually the, the tooth in front of it. Um, if you know dental terms, it's not my wisdom tooth. It's not my first molar, it's my third. So it's tooth number three, if that makes sense to you. So it's on three, hooked down to my canine on the bottom. Um, it's not as awful because it's so far back that it doesn't look as bad. When I'm talking, it doesn't get my cheeks stuck in it at all. I kind of, I don't want to say I like this one, but of all the others I've been wearing, this one I'm okay with, at least this position. It's also a bigger band, almost as big as the bear. Um, I can actually show you the size of those if you want. But this side of my mouth is actually getting pain today. So I haven't had pain for a while, except for like my cheeks or when the wires cut my, um, when the wires cut the insides of my cheeks or when the bands kind of rub against my cheeks. Those kind of hurt, but I really haven't had teeth pain probably since, probably six months or so. Okay, so this is what the rubber bands look like. This is a rabbit. This is a bear. And this is a quail. And the squirrel is about the same size as a quail. So, those are what I've been doing lately, the past four months or so. I'm on my 22nd month. I'm just about 22nd month into these braces. I was told 24 and, um, I was really hoping it'd be a little bit sooner, but it's not, but my smile looks pretty good. Hey, getting there. Oh, also one more thing I want to talk about. I've been putting, um, I have the ceramic 
invisible brackets on top and I have just a regular silver on the bottom and I've usually been putting the smoke colored and bands on my bottom I love those and then on the top I've been putting clear and I love the clear because they are clear you cannot tell that I have a bracket when I'm far away um, but they tend to get dirtier easier and faster and they kept telling me that so I tried the pearl color but the one month I had the pearl, it felt like they were a little more iridescent, and I didn't like that. I didn't like the shine of the iridescence when I was talking. It really bothered me. So for the whole time, I've been taking chances with them getting dirtier by using the clear, and I just liked it. And then towards the end of my four weeks, I would go into my next visit, and my bands looked, my teeth looked almost yellow, and it was kind of disgusting, but... I wanted the clear rather than the shiny. Well, this last time, I decided I'd put the pearl ones back on, and I don't know... If you can tell any difference, but there's a little bit more iridescence. Um, maybe at the end of this four weeks, I'll do a video and tell you if I think they're more, if they're better or if they get more color on them. We'll see. I don't drink a lot of coffee and soda and tea. And I don't eat a lot of blueberries. I do eat raspberries and strawberries and I have a lot of pasta. So the red from that could be staining the clear bands, but I don't know. I just guess we try one month at a time and we get through one month at a time, right? So 22 months down. Hello. Uh, we'll see what next week, next month brings. Okay. Good luck. Bye.